Modern Americans struggle to appreciate the humble hatchback. Doing our part to right that wrong, we've added one to our long-term test fleet. Good job, Hatchy. Hatchback fans will immediately recognize this as a 2020 Mazda 3. We've driven and enjoyed many a Mazda hatch over the years, <coughs> Mazda Speed 3. When it kicks, it kicks hard. Oh, oh boy. Remind me not to dig up old KBB videos. Ugh. Moving on, it's with great enthusiasm that we welcome this fourth generation model. No doubt you're wondering if we've chosen to live our best blue book life, hashtag blue book life, and of course the answer is yes. This is a top tier premium package hatchback whose swanky cabin is filled with heated leather seats, a wireless phone charging pad, 12 speaker Bose audio system, and some awfully fancy materials. Hey, what up genuine stitching? Adding to the decadence, we opted for all wheel drive. Does that make sense given KBB's perpetually sunny California headquarters? Not really, but it is good motivation for us to seek out inclement weather in exciting locations. Where safety is concerned, the Mazda 3 includes a standard suite of driver aids like lane keeping assist and automatic emergency braking. We'll examine just how helpful those systems are over the coming year. You might have also noticed that the Mazda 3 hatchback has enormous rear pillars. Given its questionable outward visibility, we'll also verify the usefulness of the standard blind spot warning system. One area that we plan to scrutinize is this 8.8 inch display. It's placed far away and it doesn't matter because it's not a touch screen anyways. Will that drive us mad or will we learn to love the knob? In total, this polymetal gray metallic all-wheel drive premium package Mazda 3 hatchback clocks in at $31,470, including destination charges. That's $6,750 more than the cheapest Mazda 3 hatchback, but again, blue book life. One side effect of choosing all-wheel drive is that we were forced to rock a Mazda 3 with a six-speed automatic transmission. Mazda kindly offers a manual transmission, but now that I'm thinking about it, commuting with the automatic will be more pleasant. Transmission aside, we're keen to explore the 3's performance potential when cornering and accelerating. The 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine makes healthy power figures for the compact car category, power we cannot wait to exploit. We also promise to monitor our Mazda's fuel economy, which, according to the EPA, should land at 27 mpg combined. Hopefully our dynamic shenanigans don't spoil our long-term efficiency too bad. Fingers crossed. Hatchback functionality, all-wheel drive, sick Mazda styling, and a massive blind spot. Looks like we're in store for a hatchy year of adventure.